So, my name is Daniel Holbach, and I want to talk a bit about bug jams and packaging jams. These are events where people meet locally, and after a short presentation and explanation of what what um, bug triage or packaging tools are all about, actively try to achieve something together. That's the most important aspect of, of these events. And in case you're following Planet Ubuntu or other Ubuntu-related news sites, you might have, have seen that we uh, just had the, the Global Bug Jam, where around 20 teams around all, around all the world participated. And we had lots of people who, for the first time in their life, started working on Ubuntu, improving things, and um, making bug reports better, just by asking questions, trying to confirm bugs, trying to um, reproduce problems, and adding more information to it. In some cases, we even, we even um, had the chance to, to mark those bugs as, as fixed, and I think it was around 900 bugs we, we, we closed in, in that event. As I said, the most important thing is getting people together from your local team, from your Linux user groups, your friends, <coughs> and have a good time together um, trying, to, trying to make things better, learn something, and yeah, having fun. So, when you're interested in, in doing something like this, you, there's some bits of, of planning in, involved there, and we had a lot of feedback um, from the teams that participated, and we have lots of um, documentation, uh, training material like presentations. Um, we have diagrams of all the bug statuses. Um, for packaging jams, we have how-tos and videos online where you can um, we can easily see how things are done and um, how you can best explain that to to um, yeah to your local local friends. So when you're planning the event, there's a few things you you need to bear in mind. The first thing is, of course, you need to have a venue. Um, it might make sense to ask around first on a local mailing list, on a uh, IRC channel if, if your team has, has one of those, and just ask around how many people are interested in, in showing up there. If it's, don't be disappointed if in the beginning it's just three, four, five people, why don't you just invite them to, to your house, to your place, set up um, Wi-Fi and, and go for it. Um, in case you have more people, you might want to talk to your local Linux user group. They might have, have a venue, they might have rooms they can lend you. There's always the local university or local high school or something. In most cases, you just need to talk to some people. They're mostly very happy if it's all about education. If you tell them about your project, you might even get them e excited and, and check out what you're doing there. Um, so, so once you, you have the, the venue confirmed, um, there's a few things you, you need, to, need to get right there. Um, of course, enough power sockets, power strips for everybody, um, network, wireless LAN, um, uh, what else is there? Um, in some cases, you might want to have a projector, in, in case you're demonstrating something. Um, but we also had teams who used Gobby for, um, for presentation purposes, um, where people were just able to, to copy something uh, from the Gobby doc document and, and type it in locally. That worked quite well for them. We had people who used um, video conferen conferencing software for people who participated from home. Um, yeah, people came up with, with a lot of, lot of good ideas and um, if you're on the, on the Ubuntu wiki, if you check out the running bug jam page or the running packaging jam page, you will see lots of suggestions of um, yeah, how you can set things up. 
Another important thing is announcing it. Um, you definitely want to tell as, as many people as, as, as possible, reach out on your mailing list, on IRC channels, blog about it. Um, there's, of course, fridgeubuntu.com. You, you definitely want, want to have it on there. You might even just, you might even uh, make some posters and put them up at, at a bookstore or at, at the university and, and just in, invite people in. Um, when you announce it, try to convey to, to people what the event is about. It's not so much about a three hour lecture you're giving, it's, it's more about trying to do things, trying, trying things out and um, trying to, to improve things. Um, you can, you can uh, print out some, some training material, there's uh, some playbook documents we have, you can place them on, on the tables there, you can give a small presentation and then you can, can start with, with some, some easy tasks. For example, um, ask people to, to check out bug reports of packages they know quite well. So they can uh, try to confirm issues, um, they can see if, if, if problems are still present in, in the current Ubuntu version. And um, yeah, try to, try to keep people excited about it. Um, also, it, it, I would appreciate it very much if you could take some notes of concerns people had, issues you, you ran into, so we can try to, to, to improve things there. Um, the most important thing is that people enjoy what they're doing there. It's not so important if you, if in the end you just discussed three or four bugs that's, that's not the important point. The important point is getting together, having fun, learning something, and um, and right now we, we already have the first teams who, who um, are having regular sessions, who are re hum having regular bug jams and small teams that are building up and, and trying to, to make Ubuntu better. And yeah, and enjoy it. So I hope to see your team next on the list let me let me know how things go